Good morning, Facebook attorney Tim Anderson. I'm going to make this video on the Anderson and Associates page as well uh, because it is very important to uh, get this message out. So House Bill 421 is uh, pending before the House of Delegates. And basically what House Bill 421 does and says is that you're going to be allowed to, uh, as a locality, you're going to be allowed to make your own rules and regulations regarding firearms. And that is a very big problem. Now, I know that if you read 421, initially you may think, well, hey, this is a good idea. This allows a uh, locality to set its own gun rules. So if maybe the state said AR-15s are illegal to have, well, maybe the uh, county of Shenandoah could pass an ordinance that says they are illegal. That's not what it says. Basically, you have to read 421 in the context of what the Dillon Rule actually says. So the Dillon Rule works like this. If the state makes a law, <clears throat> the city can make uh, a, a law that's similar to that law. So for instance, um, the state has something called disorderly conduct as a crime. Well, in the city of Virginia Beach, we have a city ordinance called disturbing the peace. It's practically the same thing for all extended purposes, but they're allowed to, Virginia Beach allowed to call it disturbing the peace because it's basically the same thing as the state law. However, um, why it won't work that way with gun laws is, is that if AR-15s, for instance, are illegal in the state, the city's not gonna, or the county's not gonna be able to make a law that says they are illegal. So the cities can't override the state law. That's the Dillon rule. Now, why that's, um, important to understand is, is that essentially what 421 is going to do is the state laws are going to apply across the board everywhere. And then the localities will be able to make additional laws and additional regulations. Um, and so that will be an absolute and total nightmare. You might be in Virginia Beach and perfectly legally carrying a firearm and then you go into Norfolk and then some ordinance in Norfolk says that your firearm is illegal even though it's legal under state law even though it's legal under Virginia Beach City Ordinance it may be illegal in the city of Norfolk there are a hundred plus jurisdictions a hundred plus jurisdictions in Virginia and if you made these um, allow all the localities to set their own rules it would be impossible to know what every regulation is. And so 421 creates a avalanche of new gun regulation per locality. You would probably see a, a locality such as Charlottesville uh, basically come out and say, all guns are illegal, it's a gun-free zone. Uh, and, and, and that may not be what's going on in Albemarle County, uh, which is where Charlottesville is. And so it's not, not right. Now, there's a city council meeting tonight in Virginia Beach, and that meeting is to support the Second Amendment resolution uh, to make Virginia Beach a constitutional city. Tomorrow, on January 7th, there's a resolution that is supporting 421. And so a lot of you didn't really understand, well, okay, so I'm supporting today on, on Monday, but I'm not supporting tomorrow on Tuesday. Why is that? And that's why. So today we're asking Virginia Beach to support the constitutional city resolution, but tomorrow we are asking uh, them to not support House Bill 421. It's, it's, not the right, it's not the right thing to do. Allowing localities to make additional gun laws is um, going to cause hundreds, if not thousands, of additional gun laws uh, on the books that we would all have to be aware of. Now. Um, also, 421 allows localities to sue gun manufacturers, and I'm not exactly sure what their standing would be to do that, but uh, I will say this, um, there is a federal code section at 15 U.S.C. 7901, which totally preempts uh, localities and, and the state from being able to sue uh, gun manufacturers. Uh, there is a... Uh, read the preambles of 15 U.S.C. 7901, and it'll remind you of what we used to be. This law was written 15 years ago, but it's Congress's intent for uh, people to be able to own and possess firearms. And we, we're not going to 
make manufacturers liable because of uh, some criminal misuse of firearms, things like that. It's, it's amazing how much different it was just 15 years ago. Um, so uh, take a look at that just to read it. It's, it's refreshing to see. It's still the law, by the way. And so it's refreshing to see what Congress said 15 years ago <clears throat> for the state to say that cities can now sue gun manufacturers. Uh, that does not comport at all with 15 U.S.C. 7901, um, which is the federal preemption statute on that on that um, that rule. So hope that helps. Hope that brings some explanation to it. Say no to House Bill 421.